Hi guys and welcome to the Alexam Academy Summer School here with the fantastic John Carey. <laughs> Hello everybody. Right, so we know some of you guys will be watching us on Facebook and YouTube. Let me explain what's going to happen tonight. You're going to be able to watch about 15 minutes of this course absolutely free, both on Facebook and YouTube. If you like what you see and you want to learn the tricks, there is a link below the video that will take you to our website. You can buy the rest of the course and join us for the rest of it. And for those of you that are already, uh, who have already, God, I can't even speak. For those of you who have already purchased the Academy... Jay, so if you want to call me God now, mate, it's up to you. Um, obviously, you know the chat room's there. So we've got your chat room host, which I'll be handing you over to uh, in a moment. So, John, Yo. thank you for coming back to the Academy. No you worries, are man. our core tutor. So the summer school, what have you got planned? Uh, we've got planned, basically, about the 12, 12 items, some card magic, uh, a bit of coin magic, yeah. some mental stuff. Cool. And as you know with me, I do go off on little tangents here and there. So sometimes uh, little ideas or you might get an idea and we'll bounce off each other, which is what makes these sessions so much fun. And I think doing it on a Sunday is a really nice idea for people, especially people who've got busy professional and family lives in the week. Which Yeah, think? yeah, I, I love the, the, the idea of a Sunday. And from Ticket Sound City Academy, um, we've got a lot more of our overseas friends, I think, joining us live, which yeah, is really good. Yeah, particularly in North America, Canada, and uh, what's the time in Australia now? It'll probably be about five, six in the morning, so maybe yeah, one maybe, or two. Maybe a bit one. early. A bit early. Right, bit early. so do you want to go out there and do yeah, your I'm first Yeah, I'm going to go out there, we're going to perform free tricks, I'll come back, have a bit of chat with you, and then obviously uh, the people on the YouTube and Facebook uh, uh, they can probably go down the pub or do what they want to do. I hope yeah, they can sign up us. and join us because you can interact live with us today, ask the questions, get the answers. If I can't answer it, this dear man here will, or Sarah or Harry, one of our crew here, and uh, we're going to have some fun for the next couple of hours, yeah? Good stuff. Right, you get out there, and I'm going to hand you guys over to your chat room hosts, uh, who are Sarah and Harry. How are we all? Everyone good? Are you Good. Right? It's been ages. It's been lovely to see you. Absolutely forever. I didn't even recognise Sarah because I actually haven't seen her in about a year. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, Sarah, how do you feel about it being on a Sunday? Now? Good. I, I think it's an interesting idea. And if everyone can join in live, because the more people that join in live, the better the chat room is. Exactly. We've got Sounds like a good idea. over fifty of you in the chat room, which Amazing. is beautiful. Um, everyone seems more relaxed because it's obviously on a Sunday and stuff like that. Um, are we going to have a five-minute break? Uh, or? Yes, 15 we will minute have break. A, no, five. A five-minute yeah, break. Yeah, we're having five minutes yeah. today okay. because it's a, it's a nice uh, short two-hour course. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're aiming to wrap up by about quarter past seven. Well. Yeah. Perfect. So quarter past seven, we'll try and wrap up. But uh, hello, to because there's a few people I haven't seen in here uh, before. So hello, if it's your first academy, hope you enjoy. Um, yeah. But are we? Have you got anything else to add? Quickly? No. We'll just to remind people that there's a chat room here, but mm. there's also a Facebook group as well. So if you're watching. This not live, and um, you can join the Facebook group. It's called Alakazam Academy mm. uh, JC Summer School. There we go. Lovely. Um, so if you pop that in, uh, I think you need Alakazam Academy before it. So Alakazam Academy JC Summer School will let you in, and we can keep chatting there. Sweet. And if you are watching on the Facebook live stream, that will end after 15 minutes, so you'll kind of get a taste of what it's like, uh, and then the stream will cut out, unfortunately. But then you can join in live if you, you get to get stuff like that. Um, so is John ready? Are you ready, John? Yes, my friend. Right. So we'll send you out there. Hi everybody, uh, everybody at home, thank you so much for uh, tuning in today. Thank you to Rob and Alec and Chris and, and Sarah and Harry and Peter and everybody else uh, uh, for coming here today actually at the studio on this Sunday afternoon. Um, so we're going to do three effects firstly from the course, the performance of those three effects. Then I'll go back in there to join Peter. Uh, so first up, Rob, would you come and help me here? I've got my friend Rob here. Good to see you, buddy. How you doing, mate? All right, boss. I'm good, all right. Good, good. Yeah, so uh, to begin with, uh, a little something with our trusty pack of 52. Uh, give me a little mix just to keep me honest. And uh, would you cut away, uh, you know, a fair sized packet of cards, please? And, and give me a little, uh, little shuffle, you know, a little shuffle. Okay, and I'll take those back from you and we'll turn them face up. Now, uh, Rob. I think you'd agree that's a pretty good mix, yeah? You yeah. shuffled, yeah? Remember, you shuffled the deck. Um, if I was to ask you to take one of these cards out right now, yeah. it would be kind of pointless mm. because I can see the cards, yeah? yeah? Even if I was to look away right now, the fact that I've had a chance to look at that pack you shuffled 
maybe give me an idea I could, maybe what magicians would call key cards I could actually remember that pack yeah yeah it's it's improbable but it could be possible yeah Definitely. even if I asked you to look down and think of one of those cards I could follow your eye line yeah and, and see what card you're thinking of mm -hmm. so I want to make this as fair as possible yeah as fair as possible so have a look at the next card that one there I'll look away yeah show it to the camera and then when you've done, put that card back onto the pack. In fact, gather up all the face-up cards. Put it in, sorry, onto the face-up cards? Or? But anywhere you like. Put that card you're thinking of back into the pack. Yeah. Gather up all the face-up cards. Put them with the rest of the deck. Yeah. Square them up and give them a shuffle. I think you'd agree that's pretty, pretty fair, yeah? Pretty fair. Like so remember, at the beginning, you shuffled the deck. You looked to the cards. You put it back in the pack just now, and you've shuffled the deck again, yes? yes. Absolutely. Okay, now what we're going to try and do uh, is what some people call ESP or mind over matter. In fact, I have become a bit of a mentalist. Uh, some people actually say, John, you're uh, psycho-ceramic. Yeah, bloody crackpot. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm going to ask you to hold the pack just there for me. OK, I'm going to try and pick up on your thought waves. I'll hold the pack there. Look at me. I'm going to ask you a question. You've got to say yes to uh, that question, yeah? It's a two-part question. Was your card black? Yes. Was your card red? Yes. I'll ask you again. Was your card red? Yes. Yes, I'm getting a little inflection there. It was a red card you're thinking of, yes? Yes. Okay, now the suit. There's hearts and diamonds, hearts and diamonds, hearts and diamonds. Yeah, there was a slight dilation of the eyes there. I know you're thinking of a diamond, right? That's correct. Okay, but there's 13 values. I don't even want to touch the cards. There's 13 values in the pack. Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, yeah? As I go through those cards again, when I get to the number you're thinking of, just mentally scream out, yes, okay? Okay. Ace, two, three, four, five, six. I'm getting the gut feeling that you, I've actually gone past your number, haven't I? So yeah, I've yes. stopped on seven, so I'll go back six, five, four, three, four, five, four, four, four. Four of diamonds, four of diamonds. You're thinking four of the four diamonds, of diamonds, yeah? yeah? That's right. Now, most magicians or wonder workers, I'm not a wonder worker, would actually stop right there, but this trick goes further than that because remember, you shuffle the deck at the beginning, you took a card out, you looked at it, you put it back in the pack, you shuffle the pack, and I just read your mind. That's mind reading. Yes. I'm now going to make the card you're thinking of jump to my pocket, yeah? Okay. What do you expect? Miracles? <laughs> no, you're expecting a big finish. You're expecting a big finish. Look, empty? Yep. Yeah? Empty? Don't, no need to comment. No need to comment. I'm going to take cards out one at a time like this. One at a time. And I'm going to get the urge to, to stop. And remember, you shuffled this pack. Oh, oh, God, I took a few out. This could be harder than I thought. Now for the big finish. Remember, you shuffled the pack. You took a card out. You put it back. You shuffled the deck some more. I read your mind. It was a four of dimes. Are you ready for the big finish? I am ready for the big well, finish. Well, it doesn't get much bigger than that, mate. There you go. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Thank you kindly. So that's the big finish, which will be explained in a little while. Right, let's take these... Uh, Let's take these guys out and um, try something else, shall we? All right, uh, Alec, we've got you here. Would you uh, come up and help us, please? Give Alec a big round of applause. <laughs> Souvenir for Rob. Thank you. Alec, over here, please, mate. That's my best side. Actually, I don't have a best side. <laughs> Any side will do. Um, we're going to play a little game of imagination, yeah? Imagine a deck of cards. A deck of cards uh, consists of two types of cards. You've got the number cards and the... Picture cards. That's right, and I think the most people here would agree the picture cards are the easiest to visualise. Mm -hmm. Lots of colour, lots of detail, yeah? yeah. Um, the picture cards consist of the jacks, the queens, and the kings. Which of those three groups do you want to run with? Jacks, queens, or kings? Uh, kings. Kings, okay then. Uh, I want you to imagine you're holding the four kings in your hand right now. Now, we don't need them all. You're holding the red kings and the black kings. Which two do you take out, the red kings or the black kings? Red kings. Okay, they're gone. That leaves you the king of clubs and the king of spades. Which one do you hand to me? King of Spades. So we started out with an imaginary deck of cards and through choices and decisions made by you, you're just thinking of the King of Spades, purely in your imagination. Mm -hmm. But where does make-believe stop and reality kick in? I'll show you, because you see, in my pocket, in my back pocket, I've got one card I placed here over half an hour ago. If it was a two of hearts, it'd be a disappointment, right? But actually it's not. It's the one you're thinking of, the King of Spades. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alex. So that's effect, no, that's effect number two. Number three, my mind has gone to blank, Mr. Nardi. <laughs> from 
Yeah. That's the one. That's the heat, my friends. It's the heat. Uh, actually, Rob, come back up here again, mate, and we'll uh, we'll have some fun with you. Yeah. Uh, we'll use these lovely Academy Elites, the only cars the quality professional close-up workers should use. Check in the post, please, Mr. Noddy. Um, and we'll give the cards a, a few cuts as well. Yeah. Now, playing cards are not only used by magicians, they've also been used for generations, centuries in fact, uh, by psychics, fortune tellers and soothsayers to tell people's fortunes, the past, the present and the future. Yeah. There's actually something called cartomancy, uh, where uh, the cards have certain symbolism built into them. and You can tell uh, things about people's character, personality, feelings, that sort of thing. So with that in mind, Rob, what I want you to do is cut away about a third of the deck and place it just there for me. Okay. By the way, um, I was actually going to make a prediction today because most mentalists, magicians, call them what you will, write something down, yeah? Uh, some pe people fold it up, put it in an envelope, seal it. Some of you can put it in a box and put a lock on it. That's a bit extreme. So I'm going to make an open prediction. And today it'll be the seventh, no, the, the ace of spades, the ace of spades. Now that in itself is a mysterious card. Some people actually call it the dark card. It's got a bit of a sinister past, yeah? Cut off about another third and place them just there, yeah? So I shuffled the pack, you cut the pack where you wanted in the three piles, right? Yeah. Let's see what the cards you cut to tell us about you. Well, that's a club, that's interesting. You maybe like the groups of people. That's a, that's a heart, maybe that means you're an emotional person. And that's a free uh, spade. Spade, uh, spade, a shovel, means you're not frightened of work. Hearts, uh, you know, you, you like the, the, the company of your family around you. You're a giving kind of person. And again, clubs, that denotes, I think, of associations, groups, just like today. You know, you're always yeah. down here at Alakazam, one big magic family, I suppose. Um, but also, these cards are maybe telling us something else. Uh, the numbers in the cards, because that's a five. If we add five plus six is what? Eleven. Eleven plus three is? Fourteen. Fourteen. But that could have been 21, it could have been 16, it could have been 19. Remember, you cut to those cards, I had nothing yeah, to yeah. do with this. I'm actually going to count 14 cards now. So that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Very good. Nine, <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, and that is number 14. Hold that face down for me. If the number had been 15, we would have got the 10 of hearts. If it had been 16, the 10 of clubs, ace of clubs, four of hearts, turn these over, all these different cards here, these cards here, ace of hearts, jack of hearts, queen of spades, queen of hearts, eight of clubs, and queen of clubs. But do you remember earlier I made a prediction, an open yeah. prediction? It was a black card, it was a spade, it was the... For, uh, ace of spades. The sorry. ace of spades. How impressed would you be if that was the ace of spades? Super impressed, John. Turn it over then and show everybody what we have at home. The ace of spades. Thank you very much indeed, everyone, and thank you, Rob, for your help. I shall go back to Peter now, and we'll have a little chat. Wow, what a cracking first set. That is really good, mate. Thank you, my friend. And uh, do you know what? I think out of all of those, I've only seen you do one of those before. Well, 90% uh, of this is fresh stuff today. Brilliant. Yeah. 90%. Uh, I might go off on tangents and maybe talk about concepts I've used in the past on other academies, but concepts are concepts, right? Yeah. You know? What a, do you know what? Even from those opening free, free effects, I can see, I know we've discussed this a lot, but you've been saying that you, you've been looking into mentalism a lot more, and it seems like a lot of your card tricks are getting more of that mentalism feel now, or at least presentation. They are, um, and uh, I'm happy about that, actually, because yeah. uh, it gives me, it's given me a whole new world. Um, having the influence of your good self, Spellers, Mark Spellman, Michael Murray, Matt Wilson, uh, Carl Scott, people like that in the mentalism community, uh, I guess those guys know their stuff. It can't yeah. help but rub off on you, right? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Plus the books I read and study and, and some of the... And some of the things I purchased, because one thing uh, I continue to do, I, I, I love supporting live events of other people or events, pre-recorded events of material that I'd like to learn. And because you can never stop learning, you know, there's yeah. concepts out there that I've never heard of before or seen. And, uh, you know, if I can take those concepts and they inspire me to come up with something, well, surely that's a good thing, right? Yeah, you know? yeah. I, one of the tricks you did there, uh, the, the imagination game, I mean, straight away when you were doing that, it reminded me of um, like an impromptu brainwave, of, uh, like B-wave effect anyway. Yeah. Um, and I, I was thinking to myself, if I was to do that, I'd love to have just 
like a blank deck reveal. Yeah. Just with that one solitary card mm -hmm. sitting in the middle, even maybe with a different coloured back if you want to add that extra sort of B-wave type kicker. Mm -hmm. But it is that sort of effect because you're speaking about imagination um, and you can say like, I want you to make all the rest of the cards just vanish in your mind. So you're just left with the card you're thinking of, which mm -hmm. is the King of Spades. What yeah. if we could make that imagination mm -hmm. a reality well when i was on know? the tour recently the lecture tour in new zealand and australia and if any of my friends are watching this on catch up or now hello great to see you over here again um um one of the guys over there who's a full-time nick Cassidy's great australian professional he said to me do you know what john i showed him uh, in a bar situation with a few of our friends he said i could do, i could do that as an opener yeah. on a stand-up set yeah, yeah yeah you know and he said if i wanted to make it a bit bigger no pun intended i could use the anglo size cards yeah. For the reveal, yeah, you could come on, do your gags, introduction, whatever, and and then say, lady, there, uh, you know, get someone random in the audience. We're going to play a game of imagination. You don't have to leave your seat, so you could do that as a stand-up piece of card, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, and than the, just an intimate piece, you know. And the big finish once again. It was another great effect. I love the jumbo card ending. I know Leo Schmetz is the same, really fantastic with the jumbo as well. And to mm -hmm. an audience, yeah, a jumbo card is is quite a magical thing to us magicians. Um, we sort of know what they are, but they're, they're yeah. quite a weird thing to an audience. They're a novelty, has... but after all the smoke mirrors of uh, the presentation with the divination and then the uh, the gag, with uh, make your car go to the pocket, the Algo Colomini gag. Yeah. But then you've got that serious moment at the end there, you know, and now for the big finish. Yeah. And it doesn't get any bigger than that. That's a real punctuation point. So yeah. it's a real one, two, three. Yeah, kind of whammy yeah, it's great. In there. Well, we're going to sort of start getting into the, the meat and bones of all this now mm -hmm. and explain it all. So, guys, if you're joining us on Facebook or YouTube, your stream is going to end now. Sincerely hope you enjoyed it, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, really hope you enjoyed the magic. If you want to learn how it's done and join us for the rest of the course, there is a link below this video uh, which will take you straight to the product itself. And remember, if you purchase it tonight, it's only $9.99 for the whole course, but then the price will go up to $24.99 as of tomorrow morning. So if you're gonna get it, get it now, save yourself some money. But for all you guys on Facebook and YouTube, really glad you uh, had the time to watch us. Hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. So we'll give it a couple of seconds for that stream to end, and we'll pass over to Harry and Sarah, actually, while that's ending. Um, just a quick one, because I know uh, for some of you guys that this is your first academy, I know uh, Trevor, yeah. uh, it was your first academy, so welcome along to it. Um, but also, um, if you haven't been on academy before, we always give away a deck of academy elites. 